What's up, guys? This is Justin. This is Brandon. And this is also Tatiana. Tatiana. And we have just uh, came from a screening of the Pharrell Williams film, Piece by Piece. A documentary musical directed by Morgan Newville. And in the, in the form of a Lego uh, film. Yes. yes. Yeah, so basically it's the Fer- Pharrell Lego movie. Um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to explain because like, I, I wasn't quite sure what it was, was going to be up front, uh, but this is kind of a documentary. It was filmed like a documentary yeah. for sure, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like you, you miss like the first five minutes or something like that, but like yeah. it like opens, like you, it almost felt like they filmed it as a documentary live action, and then mm-hmm. was like, I want y'all to just animate this shit, but clearly yeah. that's not how they did it because that would be a complete waste of money. Yeah. No, yeah. I actually, it's giving me, they had to have filmed it and then to animate it because then how do you get the nuances of the interviews of all the celebrities and cameos, right? So I think you can animate that. Yeah, though, you right? can animate that. Yeah, but they still they need to be in the in the room to understand like like they had to have been interviewed in real life on camera in well, order for you to see. Well, yeah, but they they can interview them in real life, and then they could just take the audio and then just basically just use the um, you know the Legos to then just move the mouse and stuff like that to whatever they're t- whoever they're talking to. So yeah, there, I, I'd be curious to know how the filming, the making yeah. of it and everything. Because um, it is interesting, like, before we start recording, Tatiana pointed out, she's like, the timeline on some of the, like, because it's basically about Pharrell's career. It's like his upbringing yeah. in Virginia. I didn't know that he went to school with, like, Timbaland, Missy Elliott, legends. fucking Pusha T. I didn't know all of them went to school together. Yeah. And then it was Teddy Riley who kind of got him a start. Yeah. Which and is then, hilarious. Yeah. Which is also, it's like, <laughs> you know, I feel like they said it without saying it. It's like, yeah, Teddy Riley, yeah, and he and I got out of my contract with him because he's probably screwing me. I mean, <laughs> that's how those contracts were yeah, in those exactly. days. Not to say they were right, just you know, they were very predatory. Yeah. And, um, I mean, they were high school kids. <laughs> yeah, and they're high school kids, and the way they just was like presented the contract to them. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> of course this happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like, what do you do with high school kids in the music industry? You screw them in yeah. more ways than one. Oh, uh, Jesus ain't that Christ. right, <laughs> Sean? Oh, All right, Justin's God. getting muted. Whoa, Justin's whoa, getting whoa. muted. He can't. He can't even stop himself. Justin's even on a timeout. We just came from a PG Lego movie. We're recording in his car, folks. So if you hear any background noise, that's what that is. But um, Jesus Christ, Justin. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just calling out what it is. I actually was expecting there to be. I think they probably cut it. There was a Diddy reference, right? All they had was the the Biggie record. In oh, the legal office. Absolutely. I mean, oh, the yeah, yeah. the executive was Diddy though when he walks in. That was Diddy. It's supposed to be Diddy. Oh shit. That's why I laughed so hard. Oh boy. But I think it's like you know, there's a lot of things in this movie that are if you know, you know. Yeah. So if you true. are a fan of the culture, not necessarily a Pharrell Williams fan, or you know, like there's so much that Pharrell Williams has touched that you don't even know, and yeah. I think that this yeah. movie does a great job of letting you know. He didn't just come out with the Neptunes and NERD. His actual career has been from the 90s, early 90s. Yeah, I yeah. mean, as a beat maker, a producer. I didn't know he yeah. ghost wrote uh, Teddy Riley's verse. No. Yeah, yeah no, 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 I had no idea. No, you know, and that's that's the stuff that I think was really surprising. It is su- super surprising to see some of these music videos reenacted <laughs> yeah, in Lego yeah. form. That was good. But it's what works for kids. Yeah, it's entertaining. Yeah. I don't know that this is for kids, though. I, I felt like the entire time I was watching, I was like, oh, man, Justin can, like, take his sons to this. You know what? Uh, and, like, they I, might I, probably have a lot of fun, you know? I don't think this was made for kids. It's made for but, black people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For yeah sure. It's this, a black this, movie. Yeah, this is a black, black this is very for, much black people. But I don't think it's made for kids, but I think this, this could be consumed by children. Uh, in a way that can introduce them to hip hop, introduce yes. them uh, to a different way of, um, 
you know, approaching the world. Also, just the the music injury uh, injury. Uh, <laughs> yeah, industry. I mean, it could be an injury for you too. Yeah, yeah, um, to your mental. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, industry uh, as a whole. So, like, I think there's multiple ways that you could look at this. But you know, while it's not a kids' movie, this could very well be a good movie to show a kid to inspire them. For sure. Yeah, I actually interpreted it as it's an uh, it's a movie for adults for people who this is their this is you know it's consumable in many ways, right? Yeah. So I you know when you think about the other demographic of people that exist that consume entertainment, right? If this were just a Pharrell biopic, would it be popular, right? If it were a Pharrell a Neptune's documentary. You know, you can only think of so many people who know the Neptunes as as that producing duo. I mean, as a group, right? So anyway, so to go through that, I the way I interpreted it was very much in the space of you as an adult are watching this. And if you have kids and they're in the room, it's OK. Yeah. They <laughs> c- yeah. They can actually watch this and hang out with you. And, yeah. you know, and there's nothing shocking. Well, you know, and it's also. In actuality, you know, all jokes aside, because of a lot of the things going on in the world in the music industry right now, and just, I guess, entertainment, this is a good medium in the, uh, to be able to absorb things about that world, which is super, um, uh, like, PC. Okay. Um, so, like, j- just watching this is, like, also, like, if you have people who are, you know, especially, again, uh, who are not, like, maybe too keen on black folks... This is a good way to, you know, to watch something without having to see uh, certain kinds of people who you're not really necessarily all that fans on on screen, which is kind of weird to say. Yeah. So, like, what was everyone's overall thoughts of the film? Like, uh, you know, like, yay, nay. I mean, obviously, we have a rating scale, but just in general, where there's anything that didn't really work for you, anything that, like, you thought was fantastic that stood out? Um, I, you know, I always like to start with the, the things I think could were a bit of a miss which for me I I actually really let me start with what I liked first so I do like that it is it's a feel-good movie it's very inspiring it is um I think like if you have someone in your life that is just you know skirts the norm and outside of the box thinker and and it like it's so reaffirming in that space of like just just keep pushing through like if you have a good i you know like people aren't always going to understand it but it you know not everything's for everyone yeah they definitely skated over like how much he got teased especially in the hip-hop community because if that kanye documentary showed how much shit he got for not being gangster and stuff yeah you know pharrell got so that's where i was getting at which is there's almost like we're gonna touch on negative negativity and darkness but this isn't about the negativity and darkness which i get it you know pharrell's about positivity and light and good feelings but it's hard for people to empathize with you if you don't say something like depression which i do think they allude to right oh yeah i I got that a lot especially in the third act yeah yeah, you know when you don't allude when you don't say he talks about his ego But I think there's something about like narcissism, like just call it by its name so that people can can meet you there and then, you know, climb that mountain with you so that when you come out on the other side. So I will say that it did sort of skirt around things that are perceived by some people to be negative or dark, which I think might be a little bit of its downfall. But I'd be remiss to say that this is definitely a, an award a contender okay. for sure. Especially, I mean, animation obviously yeah. is there. Um, I I don't know if it counts as a documentary. <laughs> you know, like I don't think so. But I mean, you never know. You never can't... know. But it's it because it's so forward. Yeah. Um. So yeah. well, I mean, it's also like could this count as a musical? Like no, oh yes, at yeah. the same time, yeah, yeah. So like, there's there's a lot of like it it fits into a lot of different um, pegs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do think that I wish. Um, Holes, I love I love the animation. Yeah. I love like uh, the pacing. It's only an hour and a half. It's very quick. Um, I do agree, Tatiana, that it skirts around a lot of stuff and a lot of more adult uh, themed uh, situations. Like it was also weird to like 
mentioned Eclipse but not have, you know, Malice there? Like, I don't know if that's like a contract thing or what have well, you. Well, they, they, I don't think they could, uh, like, be the clips because they owe. I mean, they um, said the clips from the song. They though. said it, but yeah. I don't think they can appear as Maybe. the clips. Maybe, but it's also Wait, like um, I'm, so, I'm so, sorry, I'm probably ignorant. Like, what went on there? I think uh, Mouse just didn't want to rap anymore. I think there's just like a falling out. I don't oh, think there's okay. a falling out because they, I think they were getting back together in some capacity. But there could have been. I know Chad and Pharrell don't talk anymore. Well, he Which did is, this movie, so well, I know. But this movie was probably like you know he could have recorded the voices, voices like a year or two ago, and stuff. But like apparently they don't talk right now. So okay, it's um you know it, it's it's interesting because you like if you know that stuff you're like oh like this is very much Pharrell's perspective on everything, right? Mm-hmm. And so with that you have to have the caveat like this is a very cheery like inspirational for sure because I was watching I'm like man if I were a kid right now a young black Brandon watching this shit I'd be like. I'm just going to create my, like, and never be told no. Yeah. And yeah. never stop. Well, you, you know, the, like, the weird thing about about it is, is like. Justin, you can turn towards us, by the way. You're like. No, no But I'm, you don't see it. Like, we're uh, <laughs> we're sitting in Justin's car, and he's facing forward. Like, he, he, like, he really struggled a bit. Wait, what, what are we looking nothing. at? Nothing. Um, yeah, so. Um, these, these white people think you're an Uber driver, don't they? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let them try to open up the door, see what happens. <laughs> um like like uh, like i i agree with both of you uh like it it didn't uh go as deep as i i thought it would you know especially kind of being kind of like a documentary type of feel from it and like you could feel it but like they just didn't go there and um you know so i was expecting a little bit more but you know the same thing. It's just like it, it. This is what it is, and I enjoyed it uh, for what it was. Uh, but like it, it was. It was a fun thing to watch. Yes, it, it was a fun thing to watch. Like you know, it is inspiring uh, as well. But with that inspiration, you also have to put it into context. Is just like you know when he's you know, you know just create and just and just do his thing is like yeah he also had the opportunity to do that because he already fucking hit it he was he was in the yeah. he was in the business by the time he was 18 19 years old um you know so he and he already had you know relative success yeah which is not not saying that that's a bad thing but yeah. like you also just as a creative you know you have to always think about those things yeah. it's because like you know he he was he already had you know you know a few toes in you know which allowed him to just create and do the things that he wanted to like none of this stuff happens overnight and i think you know if you understand that about the yeah, i know it's, it's about a thousand bikes which are going around us right now <laughs> white people know, like, bikes just it's like a bike stampede it. yeah what the fuck just happened it's like that city jurassic park where all the fucking dinosaurs are running past them and shit. the water buffaloes holding the moose simba's down there <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this is why we do these live reactions because we're oh in a, we're in New York City and wild shit happens all the time when we do these. But I yeah. would say that if I had like oh my god, this guy's what the fuck are you doing, kid? <laughs> I would say that if I could sort of you know sum it up, I think it is incredibly refreshing as an adult like to be reminded that creati- creativity is limitless. Yeah. And even just the idea of having a documentary in Lego form and just seeing seeing what Pharrell sees and hearing how Pharrell hears and just getting into the mind as best as we could, right, is something that is actually really refreshing in the age of reboots and, re- you know, and this and that. Yeah. And this is very, very you know, forward thinking. And yeah. I actually really appreciate that as a movie watcher. Yeah, folks, the people in the bikes are still going, too. It's, it's, this is a, <laughs> Why a is that bike 20 there, feet there, off there's, the ground? There's, li- <laughs> there's literally a nigga standing in the street on his bike, waving more bikers on, you know, to make sure it, like, the basically stopping traffic. And I don't know why. It's like he's the Black Paul Revere or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much happening yeah, right it's, now. It's really weird. Um I, I guess before uh, we we break down the rating system, my my biggest I don't want to say complaint or issue is just that it is very one sided the story, 
and oh god, now there people are honking and stuff. Oh boy, here um, we go. <laughs> I just, at the end of the day, I kind of wonder who is this movie for. Mm. Yes, because I, you know, I want to say it's for people that love hip hop and probably love Pharrell, but then it's like, well, how many people who love Pharrell's music would be looking for a movie like this? And then we'll be watching a movie that's in crazy psychedelic Lego form. Unless you're just like, I'm going to go and get high. And it's PG. High. Yeah, I'm going to get high and watch. Like It's not adult enough for, I think, it to appeal to the older, like, you know, us necessarily. He would just eagerly go out and buy a ticket to this. Mm. But then it's too young. Like, it's it's made for younger audiences who I don't think quite know who Pharrell is. They maybe know his song, like, Appy and shit. Yeah. But they won't know who Pharrell himself is, probably. And so for me, I'm like, this seems very self-indulgent if i really like want to be cynical about it i'm hoping that you know there's a bigger message behind this and you know what like we'll see what the that movie with calvin harrison jr and a uh, divine joy randolph that's mm-hmm. supposed to be based on his life that's coming it's another musical that's coming out next year also by universal so we'll see how that compares to this but for me i have a little left a little bit like i don't know how this is going to do at the box office because i don't know ultimately who the intended audience is but maybe this is because they're going after oscar <laughs> I do. I do think no, it, 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 it is yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit like awards baity, right? It's it's feel good enough. Did you say awards baity or Warren Beatty? <laughs> awards <laughs> baity. <laughs> okay. Did you say boo or boo earns? <laughs> <laughs> boo earns. Justin, break down our rate system, baby. Stop calling me baby. Guys, so you know how we do this. We rate movies back to popcorn, small, medium, large, and the XL for the exceptional. If a film doesn't deserve any hot, buttery, fresh popcorn, we throw it into the stale popcorn pile. We pile piles and piles of stale popcorn on top of it. So we sat down and we watched Pieces by Pieces. Oh, Piece by Piece. Piece by Piece. piece. Yeah. Piece by Piece. Keep your peace, y'all. Keep your peace. Pieces by pieces. This yeah, is the I know. Re- Re- Reese's peanut butter. Yeah, this is the Reese's. I, I actually version. I had some earlier, and they are delicious. <laughs> Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh God, mm-hmm. I'm so loud. Also, mm-hmm. sorry, uh, folks. Piece by piece. Uh, the uh, Pharrell uh, Williams Document- I, I, uh, Lego doc story. Uh, whatever, whatever you want to call the it. Likes of Nuri, uh, Timberland, Justin Timberlake, Gwen Stefani. Missy, Missy Elliott, Elliott yeah. Pusha T, Chad Hugo, Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar. Busta Snoop, Rhymes. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that was great. Snoop Dogg was great. <laughs> Apparently, um, the interviewer, that's the director, too, Morgan Neville. Yeah, that's what I So imagined. he was in the movie, too. That's hilarious. Like, yeah. Everybody was just Lego fight. Hmm. And Chad's parents. I mean, not Chad's parents. Pharrell's parents, his yeah. wife. His kids. His kids, probably. Yeah, everybody got paid on this. Yeah, there you go. That, so, uh, Tati, what say you? I, at you know, I'm going to give it my immediate reaction when I, when I, when the credits rolled and the lights came on, I was feeling like it was a large. As we walked down the block and I sat with it, it's getting a medium. Okay. Okay. All right. Brandon. Uh, I'm also, I'm giving it a medium as well. I feel like if it had touched on a little bit more a few more adult themes or like been a little bit more serious like you said Tati about the depression or just like the failure like you know he talked about the pressure of like having that first album after like you know fronted was such a big album and he had like imposter syndrome like Mm -hmm. oh I suck that first album was garbage like his solo album was terrible and like they hinted like his music wasn't great but like it would have been better if he fully talked about like the failure of his like first solo album yeah like I thought that would have been more honest and deeper but there maybe there's a reason why uh, they didn't go that route, but uh, yeah, medium. Um, animation was great, pacing was great, um, and ultimately the story for what it is is good. It's just I wish it had gone deeper in this uh, individual. Uh, I'm gonna give this uh, a medium as well. I, I, I've you know it, it's you know I'm kind of echoing the same thing that you guys said. Um, okay, uh, and part of it is also just because like you know we got him at a point in the film where. You know, Legofied Pharrell is kind of crying. It's just like, but we didn't really get that emotion from most of uh, the film, yeah. you, you know? And I felt like if we got just a little bit more of that, which would have made us all think a little bit uh, more about like, hey, you know, these are the things, th- this is how I can connect with Pharrell on this and go just a little bit deeper. I think that we would have all, you know, had that same moment that he had uh, yeah. in the film. And I feel, I've, so I do feel that's a missed opportunity. 
Uh, but at the same time, it was a really fun watch. Mm-hmm. And, and and like I said, this is something that I could, you know, or as Brandon said, I could see you uh, watching with the kids. Absolutely. And, folks, uh, that's our mini review on Piece by Piece, the Pharrell documentary musical um, starring Pharrell Williams and all the people we mentioned. Tatiana, how can people follow you and keep up with what you're doing? You can follow me on Instagram at Boricua Collins. And y'all can follow the show at Media MP Podcast and all social media platforms. Be sure to go to YouTube.com slash Media Popcorn. Sorry, by the alerts are going off because Justin's driving. Uh, Put your seatbelt on, Brandon. I'm trying. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is such chaos. I, 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 liter- I literally said at the beginning, it's like, He's, I'm like, I'm putting my seatbelt on so it doesn't ding and stuff like that. And Brandon doesn't follow suit. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, listen. Safety safety first, but only when the car's in motion. Okay. These mini episodes are chaotic when we're in the city. They're so insane. <laughs> but, they uh, really are. <laughs> uh, just tell people real quick how they can follow you. Guys, you can follow me at Jay Brown. Did it on all the social media platforms. Tati. She, she already, already did it. But oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was dealing with the dings. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay. All right. Remember, folks, you can support the show at patreon.com slash media popcorn. Once again, it's patreon.com slash media popcorn. We've got $2, $5, $10, and $15 tiers. Get some extra content in your ears. And then uh, if you are in New York City, Thursday, October 17th, come check out our live screening of Tales from the Crypt, De- Demon Night. You can get tickets for that at mediapopcorn.com. And you can also go to mediapopcorn.com for uh, tickets to the 12th Annual Urban Action uh, Showcase mm-hmm. that Justin and I will be moderating a panel at. So, again, mediapopcorn.com for all your media popcorn needs and patreon.com slash mediapopcorn for some extra medium popcorn butterness in your, in your life and in your pants. All right, Chuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> talk to y'all soon. I'll wait for ears. Bye. Peace. Medium popcorn. We are two niggas spoiling movies. Yeah. Brandon Collins. That's me. And Justin Brown for your movie. Popcorn. Woo! You haven't seen it, well, we're gonna spoil it. Spoil it in your face. That's your warning.